Well, good evening, all you Uberdorf and Trojan varsity fans and uh, basketball fans everywhere tonight. <laughs> tonight, the uh, Trojans host the Love 99 Christmas tournament right here at UDA. And so uh, we'll be set with the opening tip-off as the Trojans take on those Vikings from Williams Valley for the second time this year. In the opening uh, ball game earlier on in, this, in the uh, season, the Trojans had a lead on Williams Valley only to see it melt away in the final couple of minutes. And uh, the Vikes picked up a victory during that ball game right here at UDA also. But uh, tonight, Trojans are going to try to get a little revenge as the first uh, shot taken by the Vikings is good for two, and it's 2 nothing. Williams Valley. Wirt out there along with Erdman for UD. Bounced it in there for Bechtel. They also have uh, uh, Heidi Boyer inside there along with uh, Abby Drabovis. This is Abby with it on the right baseline. Out in here for Wirt. And now... Uh, Erdman for three, no good. Rebound comes down over there, and uh, Reeser battles for it along with a couple of Trojans. The ball comes loose, and it's going to be, well, still loose as Aaron, or, uh, Sarah Wirt will track it down for UD. Trojans running into all kinds of difficulties along the line here, like uh, last time out here, dropping a ball game to Halifax just a couple of nights ago on a buzzer beater three point shot that. Uh, did the Trojans in. So tonight we'll see if we can't do a little better here. Here's a ball tipped out of there, out of the hands of uh, 14. And Stacy Culp will inbound the ball for Williams Valley. We do have the names here. We'll pick them up here in a moment. This is Williams. And uh, 14 is Reeser. Thompson is 21, not the other one. This is Williams. Williams goes inside with it here now for uh, Zinkmar for two. No good. And the rebound comes down over there, and Williams has it. She'll pop a shot up from the wing. No good. And a rebound for Sarah Wirt. A couple of gals collide back there, but Wirt with it. Sarah going all the way down here, dropping it back over here for Erdman for three wouldn't, or two. Wouldn't go. And Stacy Culp coming back for the Vikings. Across the court it comes now. <clears throat> And a ball stolen away out here by Abby Dribovis. Abby working it down. Can she tie up the game? Nope, didn't lift it high enough. And let's see. On the rebound, man, we got people flying all over the place here. And a foul finally called. Sarah Wirt will be shooting two for UDA. Here's Sarah putting up her first of two. And the first shot's good. Two to one ball game. Reeser picked up the personal foul for Williams Valley, the first foul of the ball game. And Sarah puts her second shot up and in. Ties up the ball game. Two good foul shots by that Sarah Wirt. And here comes Culp for the Vikings. Stacy will drop it there for Reeser. Reeser out in front, near stolen out there by Wirt. Dumps it here for Williams. Here's a gal having some problems with it. Reeser picks it up. Heads for the paint, but it's going to lose it out of bounds. It'll be UD ball. Trojans coming back with it. Work. Dumps it into the corner here for Bechtel. Now back over for Bechtel. Oh, a shot blocked in there by that uh, number 20, Zygmar, and a foul called. Foul will be on Bechtel, who picked up the personal foul after she had the shot blocked. So Amy taking exception to that blocked foul, I guess. <laughs> or the blocked shot, I mean. Helpful inbound for the Vikings. Here for Reeser. Here comes that Tiffany Reeser. Working it down the right side with Wirt on her. Dropping it back over here now. Comes to uh, Culp outside for two. No good. Rebound tipped around in there. It's going to be controlled by Wirt of UDA. She puts it on the floor, however, and she's going to be mauled down here as Reeser ties her up. And it will be UD ball on the tie-up as Amy Bechtel will inbound the ball. This is Wirt. Bechtel over on the right wing side now, but Wirt going to keep it and go all the way and hold it. There's a foul called before the shot. Foul before the shot. It'll be on 
23, Culp picked up the personal. And uh, Dravobis will inbound the ball. Right underneath she goes here to uh, Gwen Shade, who was in the ball game for UDA. And back with it come those uh, Vikings. On the baseline, she dumps one to Reese. Shot, no good. Rebound over there, put up by uh, Williams. She's fouled. She'll go the line shooting two. Williams to the foul line shooting two. And her first shot is good. It's a 3-2 ball game. The Vikings on top with 442 remaining here in the first quarter. Here's Miss Williams' second shot. And it is no good. Rebound comes here to Culp. And we're going to have a foul call. They're going to call a foul on Stacy Culp for going over the back that time on the rebound. And UD will inbound the ball. First personal on uh, Stacy Culp. This has worked. Over into the corner there for Dravovis. Abby checking around, swings it over here in front. And uh, let's see. We have a hold called on Williams as she uh, held uh, Bechtel. And Abby Dravovis will inbound the ball. Bechtel checking out of the game for UD. Here's Dravovis, near wing over here for uh, Erdman. She drops a nice pass over there on the wing for uh, Leitzel, and Hillary has two. A nice shot, and a good shot that time by that Hillary Leitzel, who had just checked in the ball game. Matter of fact, looking at the Trojans now, we have Leitzel in there along with Wirt, uh, Erdman, Dravovis, and uh, Shade. And this is Stacy Culp coming back with it for those Williams Valley Vikings. Bouncing it down here on the wing for Thompson. Now Reeser has it. And she passes it inside eventually here for Culp. Her two wouldn't go. And on the rebound, we have another foul call. The foul this time could be on Williams Valley Zinkmar, I think. Yeah, Zinkmar picking up the foul for the Vikings. 3.59 left here in the first quarter. 4-3, UD by one. This is Wirt throwing one up from way out. No good. A rebound came right down there to Zinkmar. To Culp, ahead quickly there for uh, Reeser over in the corner. But the pass that way from, uh, or over that way from Thompson got really kind of wildly thrown. Reeser had no chance to grab that one. So here comes UD. This is Leitzel. Hillary dumping it on the wing there for Dravovis inside for Gwen Shade. Back outside. Wirt rolls it over there. Picked up by uh, Dravovis. Outside here for Erdman. Erdman looking for two. Has it blocked away in there by uh, Zinkmar. She fires it across the court, however, not a bound. So Ms. Zinkmar trying to hit one of her blue-clad Vikings over there. Fired it wildly across the court, and so UD dodged the bullet that time as they had made the good steal on the block and uh, couldn't capitalize on it, so Trojans with a chance here to increase the margin. Here's Dravovis, has it bounce off, or uh, Lights will rather have it drop, bounce off her foot, and then Hillary will tie it up in there with uh, Reeser. And Culp will inbound the ball for Williams Valley. For Reeser. Whoops, wait a minute. They're going to say she carried it over. Turned it over. And UD has the ball. Abby Drabobis will inbound for the Trojans. 2.57 remaining and timeout called now by Coach Shadle, I believe. At any rate, there's 2.57 remaining in the first quarter. UDA up 4-3. Here's Dravovis. She's going to inbound the ball now following the timeout with 2.57 remaining in the first period. Right inside they go to Shade for two. It wouldn't go down. And the rebound comes down there to Culp. will drop it back to Reeser. And back come those Vikings. She's going to take it inside, but she's going to pick up a foul as uh, Wirt will pick up the personal foul. 
And Williams Valley will inbound the ball. Sarah picked up her first. This is Reeser. Shade on her. Puts a pass inside there for Zinkmars, but it's going to go out of bounds as uh, coming up there to disturb that play was that Hillary Leitzel doing a good job for UD. And back come the Trojanettes. Work on the wing over there. Now back out in front. Sarah has it over there for Erdman. Erdman looking for three. It's good. Was it three? No, two. Okay. They gave, they gave uh, Shane a two. Here comes Stacy. Have losing the handle on it. Still lost the handle. Now they're going to call another foul. Foul will be on word, I guess. Okay. Here comes that uh, Savage who was into the ball game. Bouncing it over here, but stolen away on a good play by that uh, Shana Erdman. Shana with a bounce pass over in the baseline. Shot from over there. It's good. A good pass and a good shot by that Sarah Word. It is 8-3 UDA. Here comes uh, Culp looking for two. Puts the shot up. It wouldn't go in, but a foul call. Foul will be on Erdman, I believe, and see if it was a shooting foul. It is. Stacy Culp will be shooting two. First shot, no good. What's case uh, Stacy can do with her second shot? It is good. So Stacy made one out of two. Cut the Trojan lead in half now. It is 4-3, or 8-4 rather. 8-4 four four UD. Wirt with uh, Leitzel on the right side. This is Hillary with it now. Dropping it back here for Erdman. Erdman takes it inside, has the ball nearly stripped. We got it back out here to Drival Biss, who will give it over there to Sarah Wirt. Sarah dumping it inside with a nice pass for that Gwen Shade. Shade finishing that one off, but a darn nice pass by that Sarah Worth that time. And back comes UD and a reach in foul on Abby Dribble Biss. None shooting, and uh, Williams Valley will inbound the ball. DeMoss are checking into the ball game for UDA. This is uh, Savage with it. Big dribble out there. Gets it back outside for Reeser. She's got one in for two. It's a two bagger for uh, Williams Valley. Here's Erdman looking for a couple. Bounces it up there, no good. Right there's Mosser, tries to put a shot up, no good. Return shot up there by Shade is blocked away. And let's see, it's gonna be uh, Tribal Biss back here with it for UD. Here for that Shayna Erdman now. Bounces it over in the wing to Leitzel. Inside they go to Shade, and then Shade will get tied up over there. And Gwen will walk with it. And Williams Valley has it back. 48 seconds remaining here in the first. They're gonna check about this three point shot. Uh, looked like it could have been a three, but uh, that's the argument from uh, Coach Unger over there. He was looking for three. They say it was only two, so it's a 10-6 ball game with 48 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Reeser with it. She'll work it ahead, bounce it on the wing over there for Culp. Culp takes it right inside. Puts his shot up. No good. Rebound there for uh, Shade. And Gwen will drop it back here for Sheena Erdman who has a little trouble with it. Dribbling it off her knee there. <laughs> anyway, here's Hillary Leitzel. She rolls it inside off the foot of uh, Thompson. So UD will inbound the ball. Unger checking into the ball game for Williams Valley right now. Travel Biss to inbound that ball. Does so back here now for Leitzel. Drops it over there for uh, Travel Biss. Her shot no good. Return shot by Shade is no good, but Gwen's fouled. She'll be shooting too. Gwen Shade at the line, shooting two, and Gwen's first shot is short. Here's Gwen's second shot. This one uh, looks better. Yeah, it went in. 11 6, UD by five. Quick pass up the court here for Thompson. She puts the shot up, partially blocked away, maybe in there by Mosser, I'm not sure. At any rate, back with it comes uh, the Trojans. This is uh, Erdman passing it over here for Mosser. Heidi shot wouldn't go. Return shot put up there by Shade wouldn't go. And finally, whoa, hold the phone. <laughs> Holy smokes, Hillary Leitzel is mauled over there, and she will go to the foul line shooting a deserved two shots. 
How was on Unger her first? Hillary at the line for the first time this evening. Going to put her first shot up. And, ooh, not quite. Rebound comes down to Unger. She'll dish it ahead quickly over there as the buzzer ends the first quarter. But UD with a five-point margin at the end of one has suffered off an 11. Uh, Vikings, six. Okay, UDA will begin the second quarter with the basketball. As Shana Erdman in there with Leitzel on the left side. Now this is Leitzel. Swinging it over here for Dribble Bish. She goes inside with it to uh, Mosser, but it's tapped out of there by uh, Zinkmars. Abby Dribble Bish will inbound it. Does so right there for Shade for two. Oh, it wouldn't go. Rebound came right down there to Williams, and they'll hustle it back up court. This is Reeser across the timeline for Williams Valley. Now she'll cut it right down there, 15-footer short. Rebound comes right back down to Reeser. She throws the second one up and in. Good. She is fouled, and Reeser will go to the line, shooting one to get three. She really hung in there nicely that time and uh, picked up the bucket and the foul. Foul was on Hillary Leitzel, and Reeser will put her first and only shot up, and it won't go in. Rebound comes right back down there, though, to Williams. She put a shot up that wouldn't go down. And uh, now we have a tie-up, and it's going to remain Williams Valley ball. This is going to be Stacy Culp inbounding for the Vikings. Over here for uh, a two-pointer by uh, Thompson. It's 11-10, the Trojan five-point margin, now down to one. Here's Leitzel for Erdman. Erdman back out here for Hillary Leitzel. Now back to Erdman. Shayna bounces it for Leitzel. Near wing they go with it, but tapped out of there by uh, Thompson. It'll stay UD ball. As Leitzel will inbound for Upper Dolphin. Erdman out in front. For Leitzel. Inside they go now. Turn around shot by Shade. No good. The rebound comes right back down there to, back, to uh, Stacey Culp. Ahead here for... Uh, Thompson stolen away nicely by Erdman. Erdman looking to go in for two herself. Puts the shot up a little high off the glass. No good. Rebound comes back here to Culp. Culp racing down the court with it for Williams Valley. She'll have it dipped, uh, dished off over on the baseline. The shot is good by uh, Reeser and she will go to the line to shoot one to get three. She has given her ball club the lead now 12-11. And when we come back, Reeser will be at the line shooting one. Okay, the timeout is over, and Miss Reeser places herself at the foul line to shoot one to make a three-point play out of this and give her Vikings a two-point lead if she makes the shot. Shots up, and it is good. 13-11, Williams Valley by two. So they've erased that UDA lead, and now they have the margin back. But we'll see if the Trojans can get that back again. Here's a three-point attempt from outside by Erdman. Off to the mark on the right side. Ball rolls loose. Reeser and Erdman race for it. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Reeser. As she went after that loose basketball. And they say she fouled. Picks up her second personal foul. And that put the Trojans in the bonus. So Sheena Erdman going to the line to shoot a one-and-one. One. Her first shot, no good. And on the rebound, Culp has it for the Vikings. Starting back here with a rush. Lost the basketball, and then they're going to say it was a kickball. Shana Erdman had it and was going to break down there and try to lay one up for two. But they say it went off her foot, so it's going to be Culp inbounding for the Vikings. She'll do so over here for Williams. Williams for two. High off the glass. It went no good. And we've got a foul called underneath there. Foul is on 23, and that might be Culp. We'll see. At any rate, UDE is shooting. It's on Zinkmars, and she picked up her third with 6.13 remaining here in the first half. So not, not good for Miss Zinkmars, as the first shot put up there by Mosser wouldn't go, and a rebound comes down in there to those Vikings. Williams had it back here for Culp. Stacy would like to hang up a three. Nope, she's going to drive it inside now. And has that ball blocked away on a heck of a play in there by that Amy Bechtel. Good job, Amy. Got a hand on that one, blocked it away, and gives UD the ball back. Good job, Amy. 5.59 remaining here in the first half. 
Trojans trailing by two. Here's Wirt. Bouncing it over here for Bechtel. Back outside for Sarah Wirt. Back to Amy Bechtel. Amy tries to go inside with it. It's knocked away in there by uh, Savage, but picked up by UD. Here's Erdman. Back here for Wirt. Over for Erdman. Erdman's going to look for three. No good that time. And on the rebound, let's see, it's tapped back here nicely by Heidi Mosser. Picked up by Sarah Wirt. Her shot wouldn't go down. Rebound still loose inside there. It's going to be picked up by uh, Savage. And then they say Jen walked with it. That's that, that's that call. I guess you have to, if you were going the floor with the basketball, you better lay dead still. <laughs> Let the ref come over and take it from you. Oh, my gosh. Shot by Erdman. Good for two. Sheena Erdman puts the ball game back at a tie again now, 13-13. Williams ahead here for uh, Thompson. Ooh, and she is mauled. And they're going to call a foul. This game is loaded with fouls, and Erdman will pick up the foul. 17 or 18 fouls called here in the first half of this game. We still have five minutes to play as uh, Thompson hangs up her first one. Good. And Thompson's second shot is also good. So she ties up, or no, I beg your pardon. It's 15-13 now, the Vikings uh, by two. Last foul was on Erdman, her second of the ball game. As they move it around out here now. Wirt, a near wing over here for Erdman. Wirt again has Bechtel over on the right side. This is Amy. Back out for Sarah Wirt. Sarah will step up for two. That's short. Rebound to Thompson. She has the ball go out of bounds off her hands. She lost the handle on it. And it will be UD inbounding as Mosser will check out of the ball game and Gwen Shade back in there for UDA. Sarah Wirt, near wing here. Now over there for that uh, Bechtel. Now back to Sarah. She'll come over in the near side here for Erdman for a couple. It's no good. Rebound to Reeser. Quickly ahead for Culp. Stacy Culp carried that one. Or no, they're going to call a blocking foul. Another foul call. Wow. Foul was on Amy Bechtel. I believe that might be Amy's third. Wait till I check that out. Here's a first shot taken by Culp. Is good. Amy Bechtel picked up her third personal foul, and she checks out of the ball game as Hillary Leitzel back in there to replace uh, Bechtel. Second shot by Culp is good. 17 13. It's a four point margin now for the Vikings. Here is Wirt picking up that, uh, or stopping that dribble out here for Leitzel. Hillary back to Sarah Wirt. Leitzel over in the right wing, takes it all the way into the baseline, and a blocking foul called on Williams Valley. Hillary Leitzel will go to the line shooting a one and one. Foul was on Williams of Williams Valley. She picked up her second. Leitzel's first shot. In and out. It spun. No good. Culp with the rebound. Coming back for it is uh, Trojans, however, giving Stacy some trouble. In fact, pick up out there by Sarah Wirt. Wirt heading for the bucket. She's tripped. And Williams will pick up her third foul, I believe. Is she okay? Not sure. She went down hard. Sarah's okay. She went down pretty darn hard there. Might have had the wind knocked out of her. But she's okay. Tough little gal. And uh, she'll be replaced in the lineup now by Bechtel. It was indeed Williams of Williams Valley picking up her third personal foul. So we've got two Vikes with three. And uh, one Trojan Bechtel with three. Th three other Trojans with two. And Bechtel goes in to shoot the foul. It's uh, no good. And on the rebound, it's going to be controlled here by Shade. Outside the light zone. On the wing it goes here for Erdman. She bounces it inside here for Dribblebiss for two. Abby shot wouldn't go down. Ball tipped around in there and controlled by uh, Stacy. Over into the wing it goes. Here's... Oh, a block with no walk or nothing. Here is a uh, shot taken by uh, Savage is good. So Jen hits a bucket out there. And it will be UD coming back with it now. Trailing by six. Over in the corner it goes. Shot from the side. It's good. Amy Bechtel. That's Amy's favorite spot over there, I think, if you'd ask her. And she put a nice shot in over there. Here comes that uh, Reeser gal. 
Dribbling it down the right side here and another foul call. This will be on Hillary Leitzel. Miss Reeser will be at the line. She'll be shooting a one and one. Hillary Leitzel picked up her third personal foul. As Reeser goes to the line shooting her first shot, it is good. It's 19, or 2015 now, five-boy margin. Reporting back into the, or into the game for the first time tonight is that uh, Amy Drabovis. And Reeser's second shot is good. Two nice foul shots by that Tiffany Reeser. It's 21-15, Vikings. Sarah Word working it around outside here for UD. Drops it onto the baseline. Shot over there by Erdman, a little long. And on the rebound, let's see who's got it. It's got to go out of bounds off Amy Drabobis. And uh, Stacy Culp will inbound the ball. Does so back here for Unger. Unger dribbles it down here. Passes it over there to uh, Savage. And Jen is hammered in there by Gwen Shade. She will go to the line shooting two. Picked up her first personal foul as Savage puts up her first shot. No good. Jen Savage will try this again. Her second one is no good either as she jumped across the uh, foul line. So uh, a lane violation or a foul line violation, whatever they call it. And uh, we've got 250 remaining here in the first half. Here's Erdman with it. Bounces it on the wing over there. Now and uh, coming across is that Amy Drabobis passes it back out in front. Here's Sarah Wirt. Trying to go into the corner with it. Picked up over there by Abby Drabobis. And here is that Amy Drabobis. She loses it away and back with it come the Vikings. Here is that Thompson gal for Williams Valley. Stopping. Puts the shot up. But yet another foul called. And Miss Thompson will go the line shooting two, I believe. This will be Thompson shooting her first of two. It's good. And her second shot is also good. So Thompson makes two nice foul shots and makes it a 23-15 ball game now, an eight-point margin for the Vikings. Here's a, sh a pass, and uh, Wirt has it over there for Erdman. Or, yeah, for Erdman. Near wing here it comes to Drabovis. She passes it inside Abby. Drabovis back it comes to Karen, but Karen will, or uh, to uh, Amy, but she walked with it. Here comes Reeser, having a little trouble with it. Bounces it off Abby Drabovis. And the ball eventually knocked out of bounds there off Jen Savage, I believe. And so Drabovis will inbound the ball. May have been misnaming Travel Biss, and here's a foul called on Reeser. She will pick up her third. Word to the line, shooting two. Here's Sarah Wirt's first shot, and no good. Katie Boyer checks into the ballgame to uh, replace Gwen Shade for Code Shadle. As Sarah Wirt looks to put up her second shot, and it is no good. She must have been fouled out in three-point land. Uh, yeah, I guess she was. That's right. So she'll get three. And so far, Sarah's been unsuccessful in the first two tries. Let's see if she can get this one in. It's no good. There's Abby Drabobis with the rebound. Tries to go underneath with it. It's tied up here as Unger ties it up with uh, Boyer of UD. And Miss Unger will inbound the ball with a minute 48 left here in the first half. Oh, oh, hold it. We got another foul. The foul will be on Sheena Erdman on the push. Jill Thompson at the line for Williams Valley. She'll be shooting a one and one Erdman picked up her third personal. Thompson's first try, no good this time. And the rebound, it's going to be tapped out of bounds over there. Off Sarah Wirt, I believe. Nope, they're going to save it off the shot. And Mr. Unger cannot believe that. He's saying he's white in it. I believe, I believe Brian's correct on that one. It looked like Sarah got the last hand on it, but nevertheless, here's uh, Wirt bouncing it over here for Abby Drabovich. She'll fire a shot up. No good. Culp with the rebound, and back comes that Stacy Culp. Across the line, she goes with it. Bounces it over here for 
uh, Wynn, who gives it a, a pass over here for that Thompson for two. 25-15, it's now a 10-point margin with a minute 20 remaining here in the first half. Ronda Wynn in the ball game for the first time tonight for Williams Valley. Pass out here now, and uh, let's see, the ball's going to be tapped away. We gathered back in again by Drabovic. Across the court, it goes to Abby Drabovic. She'll loop it inside, and it's picked off in there by UD's, uh, well, let's see, still loose. Jade Mailhorn in the ball game for the Trojans right now. Also, as a foul will be called on Erdman, that'll be her fourth. Shade will check into the ball game now to replace Shana Erdman, who has picked up her fourth personal foul with 52 seconds remaining here in the first half. And Stacy Culp at the line for Williams Valley shooting a one and one. Shot wouldn't go. Abby Drabovis with the rebound for UDA. Back here for the other Drabovis. Amy for Shade. Gwen back there for Amy. Inside they try to go with it. Stolen away by Thompson. She has the ball roll loose. And out of there it should be UD ball. And it is. 36 seconds remaining here in the first half. Shade will inbound it here for that... Uh, Amy Drabovis, Glenn Shade with it for Drabovis and Shade playing it on the right wing side. Drabovis will take it down and then pass it back out here for Shade. And this is Drabovis. Tries to roll it inside. It's going to go off uh, Thompson and then off one of the Trojans and out of bounds with 15 seconds left in the first half. This will be Unger inbounding the ball. I think she will. Yeah, she did. Finally here for Stacy Culp. Culp has it outside here. She's looking for three. It's no good. The rebound comes right down here to Thompson. She puts a shot up. No good. Five seconds remain. Now somebody's going to have to do something with it. This is Shade. Shade will throw it down the court. Hits the bank board, but that's all. As the buzzer comes to uh, end the first half. But it's a 10-point advantage now for Williams Valley at the end of one half of the ballgame, 25-15, the Vikings. Both teams are back on the floor now getting set for the second half action here tonight. Trojans trailing by 10 at the end of one half of the ballgame. They have accumulated a total of 15 personal fouls in the first half. The Vikings picked up 12, a total of 27 personals called in the first half uh, of the ball game. And uh, UD trailing by 10. So the Vikings are set. They'll send out uh, Reeser, Thompson, Hunger, uh, Culp, and uh, Savage to begin the second half. UD sends out uh, Bechtel along with Wirt, uh, Abby Drabovis, Gwen Shade and uh, Heidi Boyer. So we'll see if UD can uh, solve this defense of uh, Williams Valley. They'll bounce it over there for Drabovis. And now Wirt out in front for uh, Bechtel. Sarah Wirt into the corner. She goes with it here for Abby Drabovis. And she dumps it inside, but a foul called first. Be a non-shooting foul. I think the foul will be on Jen uh, Savage. It is. Jen will pick up the personal. And UD will inbound the ball. Happy drive of this. will inbound it here for UD. They can close the gap to eight if we can get a bucket here. This is going to be Shade throwing it back outside here. Now and they go over to the corner to drive of this. Drive of this on the baseline looking for a couple. She's got them. Abby drive of this for two. It's an eight-point ball game now. 25-17, and they're going to call a blocking foul on Sarah Wirt. Blocking foul on Wirt, and the Vikings will pick up the basketball. Sarah picks up personal foul number three. This is Reeser. Bouncing it over there for Unger, and a pass stolen away but knocked out of bounds there by Amy Bechtel. Amy got a good hand on it there, but uh, couldn't control it. And Culp will inbound it here for Reeser. Back to Stacy Culp. Dribbles the baseline with it. Looking for a little help, and then finally had a walk with it. 
And Stacy got tied up in there by UD, and she walked. Sarah Wirt coming back with it for the Trojans. They can narrow the gap to six. Well, the ball tapped out of there by Thompson. It will be uh, Travel Viss inbounding for UD. Here's Wirt for Bechtel. Amy wants to get down here on this right side. Shoot that favorite shot of hers. But she can't do it now. She's circling around out on top. This is Amy Bechtel dropping it inside here for Boyer. She passes it over this way as though it was intended maybe for Gwen Shade, but Shade had broken it inside, and uh, Heidi's pass eluded everybody. Here's a nice steal by Wirt. Wirt dumps it right inside there for Drive Obis for two. She fires it high off the glass, but Drive Obis is fouled. Uh, Stacy Culp can't believe it. I didn't see the foul either, Stacy, but nevertheless... It's going to send Abby Dreibovist to the foul line for UDA shooting two. And uh, if she could make a couple of these, she could get the Trojans to within uh, six. Here's Abby's first try. It is short. Zygmar checks back into the ball game for uh, Williams Valley. Savvy Dribovis puts her second shot up and in. Good. 25-18 now. Seven-point margin for the Vikings. Here's Reeser losing the handle on it, but picks it up. Gets it ahead here for Zygmar eventually. Zygmar will drop it back here for Culp. Culp putting the shot up from over this side. Good for two. Stacy Culp nails it for two for the Vikings. 27-18. Shade here for uh, Wirt. Back to Sarah. She'll jump it back to Shade. Gwen will get it back here to Sarah Wirt. Back to Shade on the baseline. Drives it inside. Puts a shot up. Blocked away. Heidi Boyer struggling for it. But right back here for Dribblebiss. And she'll pass it back here now for uh, Shade. And Gwen is fouled. Gwen will go to the line shooting two. On Stacy Culp, her fourth. And the first shot here by Gwen Shade is good. 27-19. Second shot. No good. Rebound comes down there to that Thompson. Ahead quickly she goes with it to Reeser. And Reeser puts a shot up and she is blocked away in there. And she might have got hurt. She is getting up a little slow. As boy, oh boy, she really took a pop. And time call now for a moment here as Reeser, I think, is shaken up on that collision she had down there. And she will be replaced there. Williams will check back in for Williams Valley. And she really collided there. I'm not sure with whom, but collided with a Trojan and shaken up a little bit on the play. She'll be back. Here's Sarah Wirt. Stepping up for two. It's good. Nice bucket there by Sarah Wirt. 27-21 as the Vikings are waiting now for UD. If we can just get a couple. Here's a nice steal in there by Bechtel. Drops it right underneath here for Drive Obis, but a foul before the shot. The foul will be on uh, number 21. And uh, be none shooting. That was that Thompson. And a... Uh, Foul on Thompson and timeout called by Williams Valley. 5.28 left here in the third quarter. UD will have the basketball when we come back. Abby Drabblebiss getting sent inbound the ball now following the Williams Valley timeout. Has Shade, Boyer, Bechtel, and Wirt in there to throw the ball to. Elects to throw it in there to, to uh, Heidi Boyer, and Heidi's shot wouldn't go down. Rebound controlled by UD, however. Back outside here it comes now for Gwen Shade. This is Sarah Wirt calling signals out there. Bounces over into the corner there for Bechtel. Now Wirt will bounce it near side here. Abby Dribblebiss for, or, or rather, uh, Bechtel rather, for two. It's good. 27 23. The Trojans have cut the margin to four. Williams picks it up for the Vikings. Now she'll pick up the dribble. Get it back over here now for Zinkmar. Zinkmar tied up inside there. They've got to call a jump. It is going to remain. Williams Valley ball, but a good tie up in there by that Amy Bechtel. And it will be the Vikings inbounding the ball. 
Williams will inbound it here for Reeser. This is Tiffany Reeser with it. Bounce pass over here for uh, Zingmar. It's back to Reeser. Reeser looking for a couple in and out. It's spun no good. Rebound controlled by Boyer. Threw the ball back this way, and it's going to be knocked out of there by Williams. So it'll be UD ball. Boy, Vikings had an opportunity there if they could have hung on to the ball. They had two Vikes there and no Trojans with the ball underneath. But it's spun out of their hands and out of bounds. Here's Sarah Work. Out in front for Bechtel. Over in the wing it goes for Abby Dribovis. Abby looking for a couple. It's good. Abby Dribovis off the left baseline just drives her home. Here's the ball stolen away by Wirt. Wirt for two. It's good and we're tied. Tie ball game, 27-27. And uh, now things heat up. Wirt with a steal. Shot good. Up and off it leads by two. Good job, Sarah Wirt on the inbound steal. Wirt really coming alive out here. And back with it comes Reeser. She has the ball knocked out of there and a foul will be called. Oh, and Amy Bechtel now. Non-shooting, but for Amy, she will pick up personal foul number four. Wow. And let's see, is Amy, you know, it's going to be Heidi uh, Boyer checking out as uh, Mosser back in there. And now Bechtel will check out also as back into the ball game comes that Hillary Leitzel for UD. But the Trojans have quickly overcome that Big Viking margin and have the lead now, 29-27. Here's Stacy Culp back in there for uh, the Vikings. She's playing with four personals. Reeser for two, wouldn't go. Rebound comes down here, and she's going to be mauled. As going to the floor on the charge there is that uh, uh, Thompson. She'll pick up her second personal foul, and UD will inbound the ball. Weitzel inbounding here for work. Sarah Ward will go over and get a play called from the bench. Now she'll bounce it into the corner there for Drivovis. Or for, yeah, Drivovis. Here's Wirt stepping inside for two. It's good. Sarah Wirt is on fire at the moment. And time momentarily called here now. All right, here comes uh, Culp to inbound the ball for Williams Valley. She will inbound it here for that uh, Viking ahead for Williams. Cross court it goes there for uh, Savage. She puts a shot up. No good. Rebound tipped around in there. Culp with it. She'll step back and put a shot up. No good. Rebound there to Shade who dip, drops it back here now for that Sarah Word. Sarah has really been doing some shooting here. Here's Shade with it. Bumping but Inside goes work back to Shade. Shade looking for a couple in and out. It wouldn't stay down. Rebound by Mosser right out in front. Won't go. And Heidi battling for it, but it's picked up in there by Williams. And then it's going to be tapped out of there as Gwen Shade come by and puts the tap on her for UDA. Stacy Culp will inbound the ball. 2.53 remaining in a torrid third period. Here comes that uh, walk called here on... Uh, Reeser, Tiffany going for a walk with it, and Lightso will inbound for UDA. Inbounds it here for Mosser. Over in the wing it goes. Here's that Abby Dribovis for two more. A little long. Return shot by Shade. She's fouled. Williams picks up the foul, and Gwen Shade will go to the line, shooting two for UDA. Remaining the Trojans now up by four. The first meeting between these two ball clubs kind of went like this, nip and tuck the whole ball game. Then UD had the lead toward the end of the fourth period, and Williams Valley overcame that. So now maybe the Trojans can get a little revenge here on that first loss as Shade at the line shooting a one and one or shooting two. First shot, no good. Gwen will shoot one more. And she makes that one. 32-27 now, five-point margin for UD. Here's Reeser with it, and she'll dump it back over there for Zinkmar. She lost the handle on it. Out of bounds it goes. UD ball. Zinkmar could not control the basketball that time, and UD has it back for work. Sarah, bounce pass for uh, Leitzel, and then back to work. Now Leitzel has it again. Here for Sarah Wirt. Back to Hillary Leitzel. Hillary steps up, 17-foot shot blocked away, but recovered inside there by Shade, and then Shade is fouled. The foul will be on Zinkmars. 
And Gwen will go to the line shooting two, I believe. Foul was on Zinkmars of uh, Williams Valley, and she picked up her fourth. We're going to end this game with three players aside, if, if not careful here. A lot of players in trouble as Shade puts her first shot up. No good. Here's Gwen's second shot, and it is good. 33-27, six-point ball game now as UD slowly but surely upping the margin. Here comes Reeser, working it down the court. Nice pass over there for Thompson. Her shot, good for two. 33-29. Here comes Sarah Wirt back with it for UD. Sarah out in front. Near wing over here now for Shade. Gwen back here for Wirt. Now back to Shade. Shade's looking for three. It is in and out. It spins no good. And on the rebound, let's see who has control. It's going to be Wirt. Sarah for two. Wouldn't go. And on the rebound, we've got the ball cleared back here by Unger, but then it's going to be tapped out of bounds there by Abby Dreibelbiss. And it will be Culp inbounding for Williams Valley with 142 remaining here in the third period. And here comes that Reeser. Reeser ahead quickly for Culp. Culp winds it down on the baseline. Stacy looking for two, flips it up, no good. Return shot by Savage and Jen is fouled. She will go the line shooting two. Savage at the line to shoot a pair for Williams Valley. I was on Heidi Mosser her first as uh, Jen Savage first shot, good. And Jen looked to put her second shot up and in she did. Nope, but she stepped over the foul line. Jen has a tendency to do that. She's done it twice tonight. Uh, the first time she hadn't made the uh, shot, but that time she did, and it was disallowed because of stepping over the line before the ball hits the rim back there. Here's a pass across, shot from behind, no good. And let's see, it's got to be controlled in there by that Thompson. Quick pass ahead here now looking for a Reeser. She has it on the baseline, tries to drop it over here, but Abby Dreibelbiss will knock it out of bounds. Miss Reeser trying to hit uh, Culp with it. But Abby Dreibelbiss got a hand on it with 110 remaining here in the third. Culp inbounding. Back over here. Here's a shot by Thompson. Too long. Rebound or caught in there, whatever, by Shade. She'll work it back here for that uh, Sarah Word out front. 55 seconds remaining in the third. Word outside here for Leitzel. Hillary back to Sarah Wirt. Sarah steps inside, puts a shot up. It is no good, and the rebound comes down here to uh, Williams Val or to uh, the Trojans rather. This is Wirt bouncing it back over here. Travel miss for two, short, no good. Rebound tip back inside here, and back with it comes Stacy Culp. Culp tries to throw it on the baseline over there, but it's going to be tipped out of bounds by Heidi Mosser, who got a hand on it. And Culp will inbound the ball for Williams Valley. 29 seconds remaining here in the third period. Right there. Culp, right outside here now for Savage. This is Reeser for two. Shot wouldn't go, but a foul will be called. Foul will be on Leitzel. And uh, Tiffany Reeser will go to the line shooting two. Here's Tiffany with her first shot. And it is no good. Tiffany Reeser looking to put her second shot in if she can here now. And her second shot is no good either. And let's see, on the rebound, it's going to be UD with the ball. Coming back with it, Sarah Wirt for the Trojans. Bouncing it on the baseline here for Shade. Shade blocked out of there, tries to roll it across, does so. Abby Dreibelbiss has it for two. Abby Dreibelbiss circling around over there, just poised herself and got it. Here's the ball coming loose. Leitzel looking for two. It's short, no good. Two seconds remaining. Here comes Culp. That is not a shot or whatever, so it won't uh, count. But anyway, UD climbs back up on top by five going into the final period of the ball game. 35-30, up and often by five. All right. Okay, UD again with the opportunity to inbound the ball to begin a quarter. This time it's the fourth and final period starting here. Up and often with the basketball. Here's Sarah Word, who has really played very well here in the third period. She had a super third period, along with uh, Abby Dreibelbiss, who has it now. Puts a shot up, wouldn't go down that time. Abby with the rebound, and it's going to be tied up there as she ties it up along with uh, 
Hunger of uh, Williams Valley. Chen Savage checks out of the ball game now, and Zinkmar coming into the ball game for the uh, Vikings. Here's a pass ahead quickly for Unger. Over there for Zinkmar. Zinkmar will stop. Pass it back outside here now for that uh, Reeser. Her shot wouldn't go in. And a rebound comes down here to Shade. She'll pick up the dribble and give it back here to that Sarah Wirt. Sarah takes it around the left wing side over there. Gives it to Shade. Shade taking it inside. Puts a shot if it wouldn't go. Culp with a rebound for Williams Valley. Into the corner she goes with it. Back here for Reeser. And Reeser looks like that could have been a charge. What are they going to call? Oh, man. It looked like, like Hillary Leitzel had position. But they're going to call Hillary with a block anyway. And uh, that's going to give the ball here to Stacy Culp. And that was five? Five? Five fouls? No yeah, my goodness. Hillary Leitzel just picked up her fifth foul. Hard to believe. That was a tough one there for Hillary to pick up. Looked to me, looked to me like she had uh, position, but uh, she got run over and got called for the block. She is replaced in there now by um, Mosser. Here's a shot for two. No good. And Abby Drivelbiss will control that one. Back over here for Sarah Wirt. And Wirt starts it up court for her UDA Trojans. Over into the corner it goes for Drivelbiss on the baseline. Back outside here now. Bechtel dumps it inside, but it's picked off there by the Vikings. And back they come. This is Reeser coming back. She has it tipped out of there, and they're going to call a foul on Sarah Wirt. Sarah picks up her fourth personal foul as Culpel inbound the ball for Williams Valley. Does so over there, and it's going to be stolen away on the inbounds pass. Back with it comes that Sarah Wirt. Bounce pass over here, but tapped out of there by Thompson on a good defensive play by that uh, young Viking. Wirt had Bechtel open over here, but Thompson came flying up there and knocked it out of there. Here's Wirt taking it on the baseline, and a blocking foul is going to be called on Thompson, and that might be her fifth. We'll see. What's her third? She's one of the lucky ones. She only has three. <laughs> anyway, Sarah Wirt at the line is shooting a big one and one. Now, UDA up by five. Wirt's first shot wouldn't go down. Rebound there to Stacy Culp. Culp will drop it back here for Williams, who gives it back to Culp, and Culp starts it up. The court. She has uh, Thompson on the wing. Her shot from over there, a little long. Rebound's going to be come over here and get tapped out of bounds there by Culp. As Abby Dribovis had raced over for it, but Culp will knock it out of there. Right, you got to press them early. And Shade will, or uh, Wirt rather, from Bechtel. This is Sarah on the. Left wing side there now. Sarah will take it on the baseline. Push it back out here for Abby Dribovis. Inside they go with it for Heidi uh, Mosser for two. Wouldn't go. Rebound tipped around in there. And Reeser has it. And they're going to call. Uh, stepping on the end line will be the call. As uh, Tiffany started up the right side there and was going uh, along the edge just a little bit too closely and got called for stepping out of bounds with it. So that uh, Amy Bechtel will inbound the ball as Jen uh, Savage will come in to replace Zinkmar for Williams Valley. UD kind of got to 35 and got held up there. The Vikings, on the other hand, got to 30, and they got held up there. And we're going to have a foul called on Williams, I believe, and it will be... Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what foul it is on her, but at any rate... Looks like Wirt will be going to the foul line for UD, shooting a one and one. Fourth personal foul on Reeser. Here's a shot by Wirt. It is good. Sarah puts that first one in there very nicely, and she'll get to try one more. 36-30 with 5.55 remaining in the uh, ball game. Second shot is good. 36-30, a 37-30 a rather. Seven-point ball game now. As up comes Reeser with it. 
Reeser flying down the right side. Bounce it inside there for Savage. Back outside for Reeser on the baseline for two. It's short. Rebounding there by Savage is good. Jen Savage getting two that time. And back come the Trojans. This is uh, Bechtel into the corner over here for Shade. Shade tries to bounce it inside. It goes off a foot. And then she forces a shot up, but she's blocked. And it will remain UD ball. 5.28 remaining here. And it's going to be travel this inbounding for UDA. Abby loops it inside, but it's going to be picked off by Culp. They're going to break back two on two. Now, Stacy will go to the hoop with it. No good. Rebound comes down here to Wirt. And Sarah will start it back for UDA. Word has shade on this side, but she'll go out in front with it now for that Amy Bechtel. Amy, outside the three-point range for Mosser. Mosser on the baseline, puts the shot up, won't go down. Rebound underneath there, tipped around. Comes back out here for Wirt. Wirt will bounce it there for Mosser. Mosser passes it back outside. Shot from out there by Bechtel, won't go. Rebound to Mosser, her shot no good. Another shot by Shade wouldn't go. And let's see, on the rebound, it's going to come down there to Williams. We'll drop it back here now for Reeser. Reeser with a quick pass down there for, uh, for Thompson. Her shot wouldn't go down. Rebound comes back here to Bechtel, but very alertly, Amy Bechtel slows it down. as She could have broke down, but it would have been no one with her but blue shirt, so she held it up a little bit. Here comes Wirt looking for two more. That's a little long, but right there is Shade with a shot. It's good. Gwen Shade's shot is good. She'll go to the line to see if she can get three out of this. Boy, Gwen was right there positioning, and when Wirt's shot went awry, Gwen Shade right there to pick it off. 4.22 left here in the ball game. UD has now opened a seven-point margin, and Shade will be shooting one to make it eight, if she can. The foul was on Stacy Culp, her fifth. So she has fouled out of the ball game with 4.22 remaining in the game. She'll be replaced in there by Unger when we come back. Timeout is over. Gwen Shade at the foul line for UDA, shooting one to finish off a three-point play here if she can get this one in. Her shot is no good. Rebound right down there, though, and Mosser has it, but couldn't hang on to it as Heidi making a valiant effort there to save that one from going out of bounds, but couldn't quite do it. And Williams will inbound for Williams Valley. Here's Thompson with it. Loops it over there for that Reeser. And Reeser now, what are they going to call that? A blocking foul called on Shade. Again, Gwen Shade will pick up the blocking foul. And uh, that's going to put one of the Vikes to the line. It's going to be uh, Tiffany Reeser to the line shooting a one and one. Gwen Shade picked up personal foul number two. And... Uh, Tiff's first shot, no good. Rebound, let's see. They jump into the middle and tie that ball up now. As Bechtel tied it up in there with uh, a couple of Ikes. And it will be UD coming up with a basketball. 4-12 remaining here in the game. And technical, or no, five fouls, five. Stop the clock. I don't know what happened, but something happened. A few ticks went off the clock, and it's going to be uh, UD inbounding the ball. I have no idea what that was all about. The ref called the whistle. And back with it comes those uh, work for UD. Four minutes remaining in the game now. Inside, they bounce it for Shade. Into the corner it goes for Dribblebiss. Dribblebiss bounces it over here for Mosser. Mosser's shot won't go down, and a foul will be on Abby Dribblebiss. On the rebound as she went over Miss Williams, and Williams will go to the line shooting a one and one. Williams shooting a one and one. Dribovis picked up her third personal foul. And the first shot by Williams is good. 39 33, a six point ball game now. Williams will get a chance to close the gap to five if she can here. Here's her second shot. It is. No good. Rebound comes down there to Bechtel, and she's immediately tied up by Unger, and it will stay Williams Valley ball. As Thompson will inbound the ball for the Vikings. 
Right there is uh, a pass over here for Williams. She puts a shot up, no good. And on the rebound, Thompson's got it here for the Vikings. She'll drive the baseline, try to hand it inside. Now it's going to go out of bounds off Williams Valley as Thompson and uh, some other Vike got a little tangled up there on the baseline. And uh, back come those Trojans now. Here's Wirt. Sarah will take it back outside. Three and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. Here comes that Wirt outside here for Dribblebiss. Abby coming back over here for Wirt. Wirt will circle around out in front. Now takes it down the left wing side. Drops it inside here for Mosser. Heidi looking for two off the glass. It wouldn't go. Heidi's return shot is good. So Heidi Mosser gets some insurance here for UD. It's now 41-33, an eight-point ball game. Here comes Thompson trying to drop it on the baseline for uh, the Vikes. Picked up by uh, Unger. Her shot wouldn't go, and it goes out of bounds off the Vikings. It'll be UD ball. And uh, when Shade is checking her lip here or whatever, seeing if she might have picked up a bloody nose on that one or whatever. Mm, here comes that Heidi Mosser with it. Heidi driving it down, puts the shot up, no good, and Reeser with the rebound. And a couple of kids flying around down here. Williams going hard to the deck for the Vikings. And it will be UD inbounding the ball with 248 left here in the game. Or no, it'll be Williams of Williams Valley inbounding the ball, I should say. Here for Reeser. Reeser has trouble with it, picked up in there by Wirt. She goes on the baseline for. Uh, Tribal Biss, her shot wouldn't go. Picked up by Williams, ahead here for Reeser. And Reeser with it, takes it across the timeline for Williams Valley. Bounce pass over there, but stolen away by Shade, and then she walks with it as Gwen got uh, a little tangled up with it. And uh, the Vikings will inbound the ball on the near side over here. It'll be Williams inbounding the ball for Williams Valley. She'll inbound it here for Reeser. Tiffany goes into the corner with a shot for three. It's good. That is at Thompson, and Jill Thompson gets three. 41-36. Here's Bechtel with it, and Thompson will pick up the personal foul. And for Thompson, it'll be her fourth. And Bechtel will be at the line, shooting a big one and one for UDA. Here's Amy Bechtel, shooting their first of a one and one. Her first one, no good, won't go. Rebound comes down to Jen Savage. Over there for Thompson. Thompson rolling down the right side. She'll pick up the uh, dribble. Get it out of side here now for Williams. Inside it goes here. Zinkmar for two, wouldn't go. Rebound, uh, shot by uh, Savage is good. 38-41, here comes uh, Erdman, who is back into the ball game for UDA. Erdman will bounce it over in the wing for a drive miss. Abby's got it. Back out here for Erdman. Here for Wirt. Back outside for Erdman. Erdman looking for three. No good. Rebound inside and a foul call on Amy Bechtel. And that's going to send, I believe, uh, Thompson to the line. Shooting as Amy may have picked up, let's see, personal foul number, well, I'm not sure. Could be five. It is. Amy Bechtel will check out of the ball game with her fifth foul as uh, Heidi Mosser comes back in there for UDA. A 140 remaining. The Trojan lead down to three. And uh, I think it's Jill Thompson at the line shooting a big one and one. Her first shot, good, perfect. We're talking about a two point ball game now. 41 39 with Thompson shooting. Trying to get the Vikings to within one. Here's her second shot. It is in and out. No good. Rebound comes down here. Let's see who has it. It's going to be a shot taken by Zinkmar. No good. Return shot. No good. And let's see. It's going to be fought for over here. How are they going to call this? They're going to call a foul, I believe. And the foul is going to be on a Janif uh, uh, on uh, Reeser. Or... No, it's not on Reeser. The foul is on UD's number 52. Mosser, no, I can't believe that. That's Anyway, Tiffany Reeser at the line shooting a one and one. And her first shot is uh, 
In and out, no good. Rebound comes down here to Shade. We'll drop it back over there now for Erdman. Here's Shayna with it. Shayna trying to work it across the middle here. Shayna still has it. She'll drop it over there for Gwen Shade. Near wing over here for Wirt. Wirt, across the court, she goes with it for Erdman. Clock down to 110 and a foul call. The foul will be on Jill Thompson. And that's five on her, so she is out of the ball game now with 109 remaining in the contest and Jill Thompson fouls out. To the line is uh, Sarah, or is uh, Shana Erdman and she will be shooting a one and one. Here's Sheena's first shot and it is no good. Rebound on the near wing controlled there by uh, Unger and it's going to be tied up and remain UD ball. Abby Dreibelbiss will call timeout, however, for the Trojans with 107 left in the ball game. The UD hanging on to a two-point lead. Okay, now senior Abby Dreibelbiss will inbound the ball following the timeout. Gwen Shade trying to hang on to it over there desperately. She's got it. Gwen will pass it out here now for uh, Erdman. Erdman working it around out in front. She'll bounce it over here now for Sarah Wirt. Wirt will be fouled as reaching in there is uh, that Kelly Hunger. And uh, it's going to be Sarah Wirt going to the foul line for UD shooting a one and one. 49.850 seconds remaining. Sarah shooting a big one and one. UD in another tough, tough ball game. Sarah's first shot, short, no good. Rebound, uh, let's see, it's got to be off the fingertips of uh, Gwen Shade over there. So, uh, Williams Valley Vikings with a chance to come down here and tie up this ball game. This is Unger, passing it there for Reeser, and Reeser will break it down the side, and they're going to have another blocking foul called on Erdman. And I think, uh, let's see, let's see how many Shayna has got on her here for Shayna. That's going to be number five. So she is out of the ball game. Coach Shada looking for some recruits down here now. She's going to call upon uh, Amy Dribble Biss, and she'll check back into the ball game. As Reeser goes to the line to shoot a big one and one. Here's Tiffany shooting a one and one for Williams Valley. Her first shot is good. 41-40, it's a one-point ball game, and Tiffany Reeser can make it a tied-up game after the UDA timeout. So 43 seconds remaining, and uh, the Trojans up by one. Reeser will be shooting the second of her one and one. Here's Tiffany Reeser seeing if she can tie up this ball game. Her second shot of a one and one is no good. Rebound comes over this way. Wirt will control it for UD. UD now battling with the clock. This is Wirt passing it over there for a drival miss. Into the corner for the other drival miss. Now back to Abby. Here comes Wirt looking for two. Hold the phone. A foul. Call the foul will be on Zinkmar. And I believe Ms. Zinkmar has just fouled out of the ball game. If indeed it was on her. That's five on her. Zinkmar checks out. She'll step out of there with 29 or 30 seconds left. And Sarah Wirt, who has been instrumental for sure in the UD comeback, will be at the line shooting a one and one after this Viking timeout. Okay, the timeout is over. Sarah Wirt places herself at the foul line shooting the first of a huge one and one. One and one. And here comes her first shot. It is no good. Rebound comes down here to Mosser, and a foul is going to be called. We have a holding foul called on Unger. And Heidi Mosser will be going to the line for UDA, shooting a one and one. Eight seconds remaining, 27.7. Heidi Mosser's first shot, no good. Rebound comes down here, and let's see who's got it. Return shot put up by Shade, I believe it was, for two. That could have been a killer there. We have a foul called. 
pushing foul called on Drivovis. And it's going to be, let's see, a uh, one and one situation. Yeah, one and one for the Vikings as Reeser will go to the foul line to shoot a one and one for Williams Valley with 20 seconds remaining. UDA up by three, but Miss Reeser can make it exciting again if she can get this first one in here and cut the margin to a field goal. There's her first shot. It's good. It is good. Uh, Tiffany Reeser hitting some clutch foul shots right here. And she'll look to put her second one up. Here it comes, and it is no good. Off the front of the rim it goes. It's going to be inbounded here, and let's see. We got a foul. Or is the ball out of bounds? No, it's out of bounds. Off the Vikings with 16 seconds left. Abby Dribovitz will inbound the ball. It comes over this way, and it's going to be Gwen Shade saving that ball from going out of bounds, and she's going to be bumped here, and it's going to be out of bounds, they're calling it. They said she bumped her out of bounds. 12 seconds remaining. UDA up by two. Williams to inbound the ball here for Reeser. Reeser will shoot one up for three. It's good! Can you believe that? Clocked out at three seconds. Here's a desperation shot at the buzzer. It won't go, and we've got one-tenth of a second remaining. The game is not over, but it might as well be, I guess, because the Vikes will inbound the ball. Well, now it's over, and the Trojans have yet lost another one-point ball game. It is the final. The Vikings, 44. The Upper Dolphin Trojans, 43. And again, it was a big three-point play that did the Trojans in right with three and a half seconds or something left. So we got to congratulate the uh, coaching staff of Unger and um, his assistant here and all of these Viking ladies who really hung in there tough. They had a big lead. They lost the lead to the Trojans. The Trojans had a big lead, could not hold it. And at the end, Miss Reeser, the MVP of the ball game, I guess, with that big final shot for three points that just gave them the victory. 44-43, super ball game, and again, a heartbreaking loss for the UDA Trojans. But. We'll see them tomorrow afternoon as they will again meet Halifax in the uh, consolation ball game. See you then.